All right, so next up we've got, whoops, take a look. Who's this? Well, it's Timothy Dixon. Captain Nasumi himself. 50% of the naked tag team duo that graced the courts of heaven, fuck naked. That's him, Timothy Dixon. Now, Dixon is one of the greatest social media false prophets out there, period. This man has a resume filled with blasphemy toward God to include a plethora of confirmed false prophecies, lying, cheating, scamming, and cowardice. He is just the all-around, well, I should say it like this, well-rounded false prophet. Uh, and apparently this guy can do nothing to be biblically rejected by his followers because he he's growing, and it's just astonishing. But today, he's zoning in on his one of his main talents is coming up and uh, doing videos on dreams. And in this particular dream, you can see the title. Well, he's at judgment. He's standing before Jesus, and he's being judged. And he's going to tell you what Jesus said about him at judgment. So I've got that clip queued up. We're going to listen to that, and then we'll comment. Here we go. As I walked up, I knew that it was my turn to stand before the Lord. And when I did, he had, he had asked me to hold, to hold my hands up in front of him, like so, right out in front of him. And I did. And when I did that, my hands was clean. There was nothing on my hands. And behind me, there was another one coming right behind me to be judged. And I seen blood dripping from his hands. Guilty of martyring, betraying, murdering his brothers and sisters. Not doing what the Lord had instructed us to do. The Lord placed placed me on his right, and the next placed him on the left. And it really burdened my heart. When I woke up, because I knew that we we are going to be judged by our actions and by the things that we do here on this earth one of these days when it's all over. Right, so that was very painful to listen to, even with and for other obvious reasons. But I want you to focus on a couple of things here. First of all, this man's opinion of himself is record setting. He's telling his listeners a dream, and it's a prophetic dream. So he's selling this to his listeners that, you know, somehow this is real, that it has happened because it's prophetic. And what he's selling his listeners is that, well, he's spotless before Christ. Now, the lack of self-awareness is unprecedented. This man has shredded the faith of untold thousands and tens of thousands worldwide through his ministry, through the Internet, with his lies and his blasphemy. And for him to even think that he could stand before Jesus Christ in all of his defiant unrepentance and be awarded clean hands by Jesus. Oh my goodness. This is just again a condition of absolute oblivion to reality. Note also how there was zero mention of the blood of Christ by Timothy Dixon. He, he held up his hands and Jesus said, your hands are clean. No mention of the blood of Jesus, which is the only thing that can actually render us clean. But not in Timothy's story. His hands were just clean. This is how he views himself. And this is delusion. Spectacular delusion. Oh, Timothy, you're so awesome and pure and just so such a godly man that you, you just don't even need the blood of Christ to cleanse you of the sin. And this is what he's telling his listeners. This is what the false prophets are, though. They have to be narcissistic. They think they are as good as or even in most cases, better than Jesus Christ. And they have seared consciences, and boy, I could just go on and on. Some of this, uh, 
I'm going to tell it anyway. I'm asking you to keep your minds pure, but I'm going to tell it. Me and Robin was walking through heaven. We had entered into the courts, and we had no clothes on. None. So, you know, just don't forget this. Do not let this man forget this. Just to recap, a grown man standing before this church, standing before the world all over the Internet with his erratic breathing, telling you the story about walking with another grown man, buck naked, through heaven, defiling all holiness with his nakedness and shame. This is beyond perversion. Do you think that this is normal? It's not of God. And it's sad that I even have to say this, but let me go on record. It's not normal. It's unholy. It's weird. It's twisted, perverted. But that's Timothy Dixon. Mark and avoid him. And with that, we close down this segment.